Dear Journal, I fear that I may be taking a liking to this new life of mine. I revel in the fact that I get a second chance, that I get to experience it all again, and that I get to improve on what I did the first time around. If that's even possible. What more could any true adventurer want? Why fear then, of all things? Well, that should be obvious. I lost everything, and looking to the future, I see only uncertainty. Enough of that though, for now. I do not wish to taint this journal entry with such heavy thoughts. This very day I got to a point in my training where I was able to choose my hunting specialization and, as before, I can only remember bits and pieces of my former choices regarding this. Yes, I was no doubt glorious to behold in battle. That much I think everyone knows. I have, however, thrown caution to the wind and decided to train in the art of survival over marksmanship and beast mastery. I do have the sneaking suspicion that I used to be an expert marksman as I can feel the ease with which I loose the arrows from my bow. And there's no denying the untapped power there. Not that training in survival would make my arrows fire any less true. Well, you get the idea. Besides, it matters not. Lumen the Hunter is multi-talented. You have no doubt heard the hushed whispers of Lumen the Bard, or even the common and oft-used phrase, he's a Lumen of all trades. All true, I assure you. I have also been reminded about the usefulness of the deadly viper sting, and the always passively helping me wreak more havoc aspect of the hawk. Grand skills and, as you can expect, most welcome in my loadout. Aside from my recent personal advancements, I have managed to finish off all my tasks in the Tirisful Glades. I cleared the Agamand mills of some scourge and some rather angry spirits, and completed a couple of other slightly more forgetful quests. The last of the Scarlet in the area that I had the displeasure of dealing with did prove to be more of a problem than I had first anticipated, but what I would call a kind forsaken managed to help me out a great deal while I, apparently, helped her get the revenge she seeked. Oh Lillian Voss, the times we've shared, they shall indeed be remembered. And fondly so. I must also mention that I am in fact penning this entry from the ruins of Lordaeron and I'm about to enter the Great Undercity. This will be yet another first for me and I think fear was indeed an apt word.